I've said before that Universal Orlando is seems to be beating Disney on all fronts, and here's just yet another example and proof of that. So it seems that while Disney begins, while woke liberal SJW Disney begins its mass purging, its own little order 66 of employees, it seems that Universal is actually hiring more people. It says here on Inside the Magic, as Disney fires executives, Universal Studios hires two new ones. While the House of Mouse is firing over 7,000 employees, Universal Studios is growing its creative division by announcing two new executives by joining a team at Universal Destinations and Experiences, previously parks and resorts. Yep, like I said, they're beating, they seem to be beating Disney on all fronts. It says uh, in the article, Mark Woodbury, the successor to uh, uh, Tom Williams, the former CEO of Parks and Resorts since 1999, has been the chairman and CEO of Destinations and Experiences at Universal for the past two years. During that time, Universal theme parks has had a record year, seeing their guest numbers increase uh, ex exponentially. In 2022, the parks so the, the parks division has also opened two new lands at their theme parks, such as Super Nintendo Land at Hollywood Studios. Uh, they surprised fans earlier this year by revealing plans for a universal park in Texas, Epic Universe. Yep. That, that, that's kind of what happens when you focus on just entertainment instead of trying to push woke liberal SJW politics to please a bunch of blue-haired feminist weirdos and SJW weirdos on, on the internet. Continuing on the article, uh, things are looking up for the company's destinations and experiences division. It seems to only be the beginning. In an employee memo released by Woodbury himself, it was announced that Brian Robinson and Eric Parr would be joining the team as executive vice president and senior vice president for the division's creative studio. Robinson will also be the chief executive officer overseeing ATI, advanced technology initiatives and media, uh, architecture and planning, and attraction development. Robinson is currently the EVP of Brand Strategy and Creative at Universal Products and Experiences. He will switch the roles by the end of the year. Parr, who uh, will report to Robinson, is charged with expanded leadership for his creative designs and of new attractions, destinations, and experiences worldwide. Woodbury has complete faith in them to make so to take the, the uh, decision or the division to the next level. Yep. That, that's just a result. You know, Universal, and, and not to mention the fact that Universal has poked, you know, get, get some fun little uh, throw, throwing shade at Disney for, you know, quite a while now, uh, just laughing at their uh, woke liberal SJW failures, including that galactic star cruiser, so-called Star Wars Hotel. Uh, it just, it's hilarious. But again, Universal is proof positive of when you just focus on entertainment instead of trying to please a bunch of blue-haired feminist SJW weirdos on Twitter. Well then, you know, hey, you're going to have booming success financially and also just in terms of winning the hearts over of the fans. Plain and simple. That's, that's what happens. You focus on entertainment instead of inserting yourself in politics. That's the truth of the matter. So anyway, we wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.